In 2014, I was delighted to participate in the Ice Bucket Challenge along with everybody else I knew. When the bucket was empty, I stood up and walked away with no idea that I would be diagnosed with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, not even four years later. My name is Sandy Morris, and I have no claim to fame. I am just your average 51-year-old mother of three beautiful children who was lucky enough to marry her best friend over 25 years ago. In January 2018, I was diagnosed with ALS Lou Gehrig's disease, and on that day, I prayed for bravery because I knew this disease would take a whole lot of bravery. So. Right now, it's such a pivotal time. For all ALS families, they, they really need this right to try. There's, there's, not, there's not any cure to this yet, and there's not, there's not going to be if we don't get some deals going. And, and on a personal level, it's, it's almost, it makes you feel hopeless that you don't get the chance to try something that could affect your mom's life. Just like a, a simple phone call to your representative in your state it makes the difference it does and I believe truly that if we all can join together and really just take a stance for these people who cannot stand who cannot walk themselves and who do not have a voice yet are fighting if we can just allow these patients to have experimental drugs and maybe just the one thing that would work for them it would make such a difference we have to try we have to keep trying and it's such a, I don't, know what to, I don't know what to say, it's such a, just situation where you need to really be time oriented and you need to be as quick as possible to get to this or else it's, it's only going to go further and it, it's hard to just watch and do nothing and just sit by. ALS patients just don't have the same rights as other terminally ill diseases and there's no protocol and there isn't good processes and we're navigating on our own. We're feeling on our own and um, I'm really doing my best with that. I'm really trying to make my way so that other ALS patients don't start over but they can take my baton and continue to run with it. And that, that will further us in this. I mean, there is gonna be a cure out there. There is gonna be a treatment, maybe not in my timeline, but it's gonna happen and we just need to express the importance of our rights so that someday ALS is not deadly. It's just something that needs to be treated. And, and maybe you have less mobility, but who cares? There's a treatment and gosh, I'm gonna say the what if there's a cure. I am asking you to stand up and advocate for people with ALS. I implore you to call and write your congressmen, the FDA leaders, and the National ALS Association. Tell them that the time to act is now. There are promising treatments at last, yet people with ALS continue to be shackled by antiquated clinical trial criteria. People with ALS have been unsuccessful at accessing experimental drugs through the right to try law or the expanded access program. We deserve a little protocol and a little hope. The time to act is now.